Hey everyone. I just want to show you, you know, what I think continues to be the, the biggest trend that I've, I've seen for a very long time, probably in my entire career around like changes that are coming to, to business or, or like value add that you can make in business. And I wanted to show you just one example, one example of, of why I think this is such a big trend. So currently I'm just showing you uh, lovable.dev. This is a, a website that I've been using for a while now. I use it as a way to prototype a lot of my applications. It has been a, an incredible tool for a number of months now. It's, it's pretty new, it's pretty new. And it came out sort of towards the back end of last year. But I had an idea yesterday of an app that I wanted to build, just an idea. And I thought, okay, let's go and prototype it inside of Lovable and let's see how far we get. And probably within three to four hours, this is how far I got, okay? And look, this is just a prototype. It's not a, a website that is ready to take subscriptions and, and, and do everything like that, but it is useful, okay? It's a useful app, it works, and uh, you could get a lot of value from it, right? And it could be improved very, very quickly. I haven't even had to move out of Lovable to get this far, which is what I want to show you. Okay, so I'll just see if I can go to the homepage first. Or is it going to make me log in? But, but it's called LearnFlow. So I wanted a way for, if I had an idea that I wanted to learn about, then I would I, I would just put it into this and then it would create um, a, a some learning documentation for me you know, really, really fast. And then I could catalog all of these different um, learning projects and just be like a, a way for me to just get a lot of information, try to ingest a lot of information really, really quickly, right? And let the AI do a lot of it for me. Okay, so um, all you have to do, so this is our homepage here. I've, I've logged in. I'm, uh, this is just a test account for me. And by the way, this is still in Lovable's uh, own, they, they're rendering the site for me, right? I'm, I'm not um, hosting this anywhere just yet. I, I, could, I could do that quite quickly. Um, but I can put in any content here. I could say, um, you yeah, know, I want to learn about how to actually let's go web development um, best practices for a novice okay so you can put any topic you want literally anything okay then I go okay it will work up a 10-step plan for me and what's ha what's happening in behind the scenes I've got a whole lot of AI plugged into this uh, and I can now learn, it will save it. I've got, you'll see that I've got different um, modes in terms of the ways I, way I can learn as well. And remember, I didn't use, I didn't write any code to create this. I created it within about three to four hours, mostly on my iPad, actually. This is, this is actually one of the first times I've used this on my, on my desktop as well. Okay, so it works have a bit of a plan for me, 10 step plan. I approve the plan. And then what it does is it's generating all of that plan for me in behind the scenes. Hopefully it hasn't failed. Okay, yeah, mate. So there's a few things around these notifications that I've got to clean up. Um, but what happened, what's happened is I've got the O3 Mini, the best model from OpenAI, um, hooked into this, right? And uh, it's going in and um, reaching out to the API 10 times, bringing back all the information and putting it into... Um, into a format that I can now read and review that particular content, right? Now, actually, what do you think? This is just one example of this incredible wave of new opportunities that are opening up, right? There is so much software to build just by including API calls to AI models. And, and this is just a text model. There's, a, there's voice models, audio models, image models, Video models are coming soon. There's going to be models on like that that are very specific on science, on data analysis. Um, you know that that that's why this is such a huge trend, right? There's there is just ten times the amount of software to build, and this is just one example of like how quickly you can do it now, right? Like I would never have thought I could have built this a year ago, never. And this is just lovable. Like I, I, in, in other. In other videos, I can show you, you can use um, Windsurf, you can use Cursor. There's all these tools that you can graduate up to, but this is perfect for prototyping. Absolutely perfect for prototyping. Okay, so I can come through here. I can work through work through this content. I've got a little bit of uh, work to do just around, um, you see here that the formatting isn't very good. So that's one thing that these AI models struggle with, like formatting is uh, notoriously difficult because they're all different depending on which API you're calling. So that can be a bit annoying, but also 
the business opportunity I, I thought yesterday when I was stuck managing it, for, like trying to figure it out for ages. Okay, so I've got this um, style here, like ebook style, if you think about it. But then I, I realized, okay, well, why don't I actually, maybe I want to learn a different way. So now I'm going to have like a presentation style. And so here I've, I've created this, and this is all just being developed by the AI, right? Like I've, I've just been talking to it, iterating with it and developing it um, in all sorts of different ways. You know, think about like you could, you could um, build something like this and really customize it to your organization or really customize it to your school or build on top of this, this idea, make it, make it way better and um, create a, um, a software as a service uh, product from it, like a SaaS product from it. One of the other things I was thinking I should bring into this is audio, right? An audio AI where maybe it can read it to you. Maybe we could create a podcast automatically um, based on the content as well. So you could be reading it, but then get to the end and then say, okay, I want to listen to a podcast about it. There's all sorts of ways that you can enhance this. And just, just to remind it, like this only took me like three to four hours just to get to this point. Uh, didn't code a, a thick didn't code effect. Okay, so you see here that I've got a whole lot of projects here that I've already um, been testing and working on. One of the other things that I like about Lovable that has just come out recently as well is you can actually now look at the code and I've become a little bit more savvy with the code of late because I spent a lot of time and I've been spending a lot of time in this tool called Windsurf, which I'm bringing up now. So, you know, I've been spending a lot of time in more complex apps trying to build, you know, trying to take my apps to another level. And um, so I'm becoming quite familiar with like how this all works. And so, you know, I've got a bit of like it, Lovable develops in a best practice way. So it's really, really good for learning, actually. It's not only good for prototypes, but great for learning because you can see how they've sort of put components, hooks, integrations, libraries, I think, uh, pages, utilities, super base, edge functions. So these are the ones that these are the, well, we've actually only got one. This is what is, is calling is going to the API from OpenAI and um and making those api calls to do all the things that we need and so i've got some um i'll show you i've got some other ones i've got some other uh, ones i'm working on they have a lot of if you see here like they have a lot of um different calls this is what's quite exciting about uh, this new app development wave is you can call api apis from various different providers very various different mod modalities mash them all together you know and create something really amazing Okay, so look, there's just a bit of an update on like what I've been able to achieve. What you, I've no doubt you could achieve this as well. Absolutely no doubt. And yeah, I'll see see where I can um, take this. I'm probably going to um, just launch this for uh, for free on eDNA Labs, an enterprise DNA's platform. That's where we're that's where we're launching a lot of our um, free app apps. And then I'll just see. I'll see. Like that will be our free version. And then we we might um, we might sort of take it to another level as well. We'll see how we go. Okay. Thanks for tuning in. Talk to you soon.